Hey everybody, we, we, I decided to do a, another video today. Probably could tell by the same same shirt and same hat. One of the things that kind of perturbs me, I'm not sure if this really qualifies as anything libertarian, but I'd rather just be curmudgeonly about it because I find a little humor in that. It was supposed to be about what companies should really tell you. Now, you probably know most of this already, but what you don't know is Matt Freemat, that's who I am, from the Freemat podcast, I usually speak about libertarian stuff. As of lately, my partner in non-crime, General Patrick Flynn, he's over there somewhere, please laugh, uh, both of us battling with traveling for health, for, say, work, f dealing with family issues. I'm glad to be back. I've talked with him. He's doing all right, guys. And I really do care about him. Maybe I'll pull up an article by myself every once in a while, but eh, he's doing all right. Now, back to what I said about what companies should really be telling you. They should tell you, instead of giving you the PR stunt, they should tell you that, we really don't care about customer service. We outsource customer service phone lines to people that don't work for our company. You end even to the point of third party contractors, that company that got the contract contracts with somebody else, even to, even into other countries. It's not that I don't like people in other countries. I really do. I love, I've met some of those people who've actually worked for an English language call center in Panama. And yes, there are people with great English skills there. But I ask you, when somebody gets into legal trouble, their company will, the company you're supposed to be dealing with, will try to blame it on some guy overseas. When, when there's more hands in the till and there's more eyeballs, the chances for chicanery, it, they increase. Now, I wanted to say that those companies say, we don't care enough to put you on hold for 10 minutes or make you yell out your request to an AI that won't recognize your accent. Yes, it's happened to me before. I had somebody in an insurance company actually fight me when I told them. I had six different things I had to yell at the phone, and then I was put on hold. And it felt like 45 minutes. And these people actually had the gall to fight me over it. Not physically. To argue. And I was like, I know that your job sucks. Because your company was too cheap to hire more people. I worked at a call center place for a very short time. And the weird thing is most people were actually very courteous. But our call volume at certain times of day was immense. Because everybody gets off of work mostly the nine to five crowd and they call and they flood the same, most of the same questions. A handful of people got it worse. And you know what? I really do feel for some folks, but I think that AI got cheap and they thought it was a trendy, good thing to do. They don't like paying people money to do customer service and they don't like paying benefits and they didn't like dealing with people as people got hurt. But the thing is, they got stupid computer programs, and they make monkeys out of their customers. And I, I, I was going to say, customer service. They use AI, like it, one of the big box chains not far from where I live. I don't want to say the name of it. You probably got one or one of their affiliates somewhere near your house. And they did away with the most of the cashiers. They have the automated, uh, not the vestibules, help me out here, the automated kiosk where you can scan your own stuff. I'm good at that, by the way. I've done that. I can get out of there within minutes. People, Other people fumble. I'm ready to get out of Dodge. But there are certain times that I've probably needed a cashier and they had to go find somebody to deal with this. I had to go flag somebody down and... Instead of having cashiers, they decided that it was the best idea to use 
the kiosk, which are good for certain people. And I think they had AI tracking where it would look at your face and I'm in their system somehow. And if you went over a certain couple minutes or you see somebody waving their hand in the air, it's supposed to trigger somebody to come find you. And the irony is, no, it doesn't. It probably would make sense for me to get on the phone and say customer service number 12 or when we had cashiers, so they could handle it. And even the incompetent ones could call somebody else and say, hey, I need a hand. But instead of having cashiers, you have everybody in the back either doing stocking, not stalking, stocking, restocking, or you have them having a... When I went to that big box store, during the holidays, they had people with a pulse and nothing else unloading trucks. And I, yeah, I've been in the back of the place. It isn't customer service. They have people with a pulse in the back. Nobody cares about customer service. The company wasn't serious about getting people their hours when they work there. And now that the mandatory minimum wage folks are up in a flurry of activity, they don't want to hire anybody anymore and your hours suck. You have rotating hours, working two hours here, go home for five hours and come back for another three. And people aren't guaranteed to work there full time. You're going to have a 30 hours. And now you don't even have cashiers. So that's what the companies think of your customer service. Yeah, they'll, they'll you'll pay an extra nickel or something for your orange. But you know what? It goes into the company's pocket. They're not hiring customer service anything. And you know what? Yeah. I, I honestly think that most of us deserve it because we still shop there and we don't tell these people, hey, maybe you could get two more cashiers. But they don't care. Nobody cares about customer service. The customer isn't right. I've said that because I've worked at some of these companies. The customer is wrong. And they're going to continue to be wrong because a lot of customers are stupid. But customer service... Is gone by the wayside. Not because I'm some old creatures complaining about it. Because there's no customer service. And they'd rather have a robot or a voice do it for you. Alright. Well, I'll get off that soapbox, guys. As always, I think there's uh, notifications. There's likes over that way. I think subscribe. Way, way down there. Hate email. Like I'm pointing at my crotch, don't go there. A parlor, Twitter, I'm, I think I'm still Gab. Uh, eventually, I'm going to do the ugly thing and have to upload everything to BitChute, but whatever. Send me email to that hate email address. Just, if I had a P.O. box, you could send me a brick, because you're going to pay for it anyway. Support the post office. Send me a brick. All right, folks, I'll catch you next time.